Today I'd like to talk with you about the challenges in the migration from Oracle Forms to ADF. In the past, Oracle Forms applications were designed and developed for desktop computers. Also, the main usage was as an in-house application. Now you're facing the challenge to open up parts of the software to the World Wide Web. Some departments might need home office workspaces or sales like to access customer data as a cloud service. Also, with the wide usage of smartphones and tablets, your company needs to have a mobile strategy to provide functionality of your Forms application to iOS or Android devices. To migrate parts of your Oracle Forms application to ADF can be the right solution. In the next minutes, I will explain the PITS process model to ADF. This model is separated into three phases. First, the preparation phase for the Forms modules. Second, the architecture and migration phase. Third, the fine-tuning of the RDF artifacts. Let's start with the Oracle Forms preparation phase. Every project at PITS, we start with an analysis. The main questions an analysis needs to answer are How much will the migration to ADF cost? How much time do I need to allocate? And how complex is my application and the overall project? Of course, you can collect all this data in a manual way that again needs time and budget. Or you can use a tool like PITSCON that uses industry standard metrics to calculate development or migration time, the complexity of your application and out of the others, the cost of the full project. The actual preparation of the forms application, you can also name it the cleaning phase. If you have clean forms modules, you can use them as a blueprint or specification for ADF. The first step of the cleaning is to remove the dead code and unused objects. You don't want to migrate anything that is not in use or might not be necessary in ADF anymore. For example, a developed calendar in forms comes as a built-in in ADF. The second step is a reduction of redundancies. Over time, some program units have been copied and pasted into other modules. With some small adjustments, you can consolidate the duplicates and move them into a library. A lot of Forms applications are around 10 years old or even older. In these years, there was a big invest into PLSQL code. The best way to preserve this investment is to move the business logic into the database. Of course, this isn't the perfect JE architecture, but in real life it has been proven to be a good compromise. When you now create web services on the stored procedures, you can integrate your Forms application into a service-oriented architecture. After a successful cleaning, we get to the architecture and migration phase. In both architecture for houses or software, it's right to say one size doesn't fit all. As there are buildings for families, production or traffic, there are different constructs for software architecture. A part of the analysis of phase one should be to find the right architecture that fits to your needs. At the migration, an automatism can help to standardize the results by the creation of a common project structure, utilization of standard libraries for common objects and functionalities, and usage of a unified naming convention. This ensures a high quality of the full project phase and supports the maintenance of the application after the migration. Also, the utilization of a generator for ADF accelerates the project and reduces costs. Of course, this is not a one-to-one -one migration because PITSCON only migrates objects that can be migrated as handwritten. This is the reason why a detailed fine-tuning phase is necessary. The PITSCON ADF assistant generates out of the forms modules the model layer, the view layer and the controller layer. All the layers need more or less manual adjustments to finalize the migrated application. The model layer has a up to 95% completeness after the generation. Just some adjustments are needed, for example the master detail relation that were controlled in a dynamic way in Oracle Forms. Also, the validation logic must be addressed in this part of the fine-tuning phase. For the view layer, PITSCON creates all the puzzle pieces you need to create a modern web application. You can take the few object and arrange them on a HTML-based page or update them to objects that fit better to your corporate standard. While you work on the UI and task flow, you can take also advantage of the great web features that come with ADF JDeveloper. Finally, you have to work with the control layer. At this stage, you need to work with all the business logic that was not transferred to the database. 
Even a PL SQL to Java converter exists in Pitscon, you still need to adapt the generated Java code to object-oriented standards. Let's summarize the PITS process model to ADF. The cleaning, migration and fine-tuning ensures that you will have a high-quality and maintainable ADF application that was migrated in time and on budget. When you cluster your application, you are able to repeat all phases cluster by cluster. With this strategy, you can migrate your forms with your pace to ADF and provide the functionality with the most value to your end users. If you'd like to have more information, please contact us at myinfo or visit our website.